Hi friends, and welcome to your daily devotional for Monday, May 24th, 2021. This week we are talking about the Holy Spirit. In the next few moments, I invite you to think about what role the Holy Spirit plays in your life. Our word from the psalmist today comes from Psalm 104, verses 24 through 34, and this is from the Contemporary English Version. Listen now for God's word to us. Our Lord, by your wisdom you made so many things. The whole earth is covered with your living creatures. But what about the ocean so big and wide? It is alive with creatures, large and small. And there are the ships, as well as Leviathan, the monster you created to splash in the sea. All of these depend on you to provide them with food, and you feed each one with your own hand, until they are full. But when you turn away, they are terrified. When you end their life, they die and rot. You created all of them by your spirit, and you give new life to the earth. Our Lord, we pray that your glory will last forever, and that you will be pleased with what we have done. You looked at the earth, and it trembles. You touch the mountains, and smoke goes up. As long as I live, I will sing and praise you, the Lord God. I hope my thoughts will please you, because you are the one who makes me glad. Let us pray. Creator of the world, you are the potter, we are the clay, and you form us in your own image. Shape our spirits by Christ's transforming power, that as one people, we may live out your compassion and justice whole and sound in the realm of your peace. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Joel, chapter 2, verses 18 through 29 from the Common English Bible. Listen for God's word. Then the Lord became passionate about this land and had pity on his people. The Lord responded to the people, See, I am sending you the corn, new wine, and fresh oil, and you will be fully satisfied by it. And I will no longer make you a disgrace among the nations. I will remove the northern army from far from you and drive it into a dried up and desolate land, its front into the eastern sea and its rear into the western sea. Its stench will rise up, its stink will come to the surface. The Lord is about to do great things. Don't fear fertile land. Rejoice and be glad, for the Lord is about to do great things. Don't be afraid, animals of the field, for the meadows of the wilderness will turn green. The tree will bear its fruit. The fig tree and grapevine will give their full yield children of Zion. Rejoice and be glad in the Lord your God, because he will give you the early rain as a sign of righteousness. He will pour down abundant rain for you, the early and the late rain, as before. The threshing floors will be full of grain. The vats will overflow with new wine and fresh oil. I will repay you for the years that the cutting locust, the swarming locust, the hopping locust, and the devouring locust have eaten, my great army, which I sent against you. You will eat abundantly and be satisfied, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God who has done wonders for you. And my people will never again be put to shame. 
you will know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God. No others exist. Never again will my people be put to shame. After that, I will pour out my spirit upon everyone. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams and your young men will see visions. In those days, I will also pour out my spirit on the male and female slaves. Here God says that the people would know when God was in their midst. How do you know when God is near you? Our New Testament reading today comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 4 through 11 from the Message Bible. Listen again for God's word to us. God's various gifts are handed out everywhere, but they all originate in God's spirit. God's various ministries are carried out everywhere, but they all originate in God's spirit. God's various expressions of power are in action everywhere, but God himself is behind it all. Each person is given something to do that shows who God is. Everyone gets in on it. Everyone benefits. All kinds of things are handed out by the Spirit and to all kinds of people. The variety is wonderful. Wise counsel. Clear understanding. Simple trust. Healing the sick. Miraculous acts proclamation, distinguishing between spirits, tongues, interpretation of tongues. All these gifts have a common origin, but they are handed out one by one by the one spirit of God. He decides who gets what and when. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. There are many spiritual gifts, far more than those Paul lists here. But of the gifts that Paul names here, which do you possess? Which do you wish you did? Let us pray. God of compassion, teach us to embody your love. God of faithfulness, help us be constant in service. God of all creation, give us compassion for all your children. God of blessing, hear our prayers. Amen. Friends, like the joy of the sea coming home to shore, may the relief of laughter rinse through your soul this day. Go in peace. I'll see you tomorrow.